All right, guys, I just thought I'd do a little update on one of the test breedings I did for my Chaos line. Because, uh, you know, I'm suspecting that Extreme Black is causing some dilution uh, by turning yellow to white, but I'm not positive. So I'm doing some test breeding to see if anything else could go on first before I 100% um, decide that's what's going on. So this litter right here is the product of pairing uh, one of my Chaos Recessive Yellows that looks like a basically a white recessive yellow. So they've got a city top and then they fade into like a creamy white color. Uh, I don't know if Facebook lets you post videos and photos, but if it does, I'll post a photo of her, maybe in the comments or something. But um, she was the mom, so she's a recessive yellow. And I paired her with a male from uh, Firethorn Ridge, which is a blue tan texel pied. Uh, so we've got this little uh, pied right here. Uh, from him, and he was a blue, and this litter proves that she at least carries blue. So now, I think that's the most valuable thing from this, is now we know that uh, the Chaos line, which is pale, has blue in it. She wasn't blue, and she is one of the dilutes, so blue isn't the thing that causes it, at least, because otherwise we wouldn't have these black pups. But we at least now know that blue can contribute to some of the mice. And there are actually a couple of mice that have come through that have looked even cooler and more gray than some of the others that look slightly creamier. So for them, I speculate that they are like the blue version uh, of, of this dilution here. In fact, maybe I'll, maybe I'll show an example uh, of that in just a second here. It'll make the video a bit longer, but oh well. Anyways, uh, just to go over what we have in this litter specifically, we have a black pied. She's so cute. Very good little lady. And then we've got three of these guys. These are all Texel tans. They're blue tans. And they are tans. So they've got like a creamy yellow belly. Uh, the blue diluted it a little bit uh, from a more vibrant tan. So we've got three of those. There's another one. Just so you can see the tan belly. I mean, it, it's almost white, but it's, it's a bit more yellow. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to separate you guys, am I? You can all call back together. And then we've got this girl. She is a fox. She is a Siamese splash, I believe. So white belly versus the other tan bellies. Whoop! If I can get her out of there. She's very pretty. Nice dark colored splash. Just like that. And my girl, of course, the one that uh, sired this litter does carry, at least carry Siamese. Uh, she does not look Siamese, but... So we've got that one. Now, the, this litter's very female heavy. The only male is one of these blue tans, which is great. And then we've got a black self. Female. Very cute. Good little also, this litter's a bit large. I, I kept it large just because I wanted to see what everybody turned out to be. Also because I've got a lot of pet owners who want females. And also because, look at these guys. They're doing really good. So the mom's milk production has stayed great throughout the litter so far. Uh, and she's, she's kept her weight up, so I haven't felt the need to cool down. If, if I need to, later on I might, but so far she seems just fine, and so do the pups, so she's just good at her job, I guess. And then we've got a blue splash right here. Likely a blue splash Siamese. I'm not sure what the, 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 the blue tan carries, uh, the blue pie tan texel that I got. Uh, I'm guessing Siamese based off what I'm seeing, but... From the breeder, I think extreme dilution is also possible, so these guys could be a mix between Siamese and extreme or chinchilla or whatever. But for now, I'll just say splash Siamese or, or blue splash or whatever. She's very pretty, though. All of these guys have very nice coats. I'm pretty sure that none of them are actually satin, but they've got quite a nice sheen to them. So doing pretty great, very healthy. We did not get any recessive yellows, though, so uh, no nothing to say as far as that goes. But regardless, very interesting to at least know that blue plays a part in the uh, dilution, uh, at least in some instances. And I'll go ahead and show you real quick uh, an example uh, of what I mean. Let me just walk over to the master real quick. All right, here we are. Don't mind the mess. I'm in the middle of spot cleaning and cage cleaning. Uh, let's see if after reorganizing everybody, I can find the mice I want to show. <laughs> yep. Okay, first try. So this is a buck from a recent litter, and him and his sister, I think, are a good example of what I think is the appearance of blue dilution. Yeah, come here. I'll just put you on my shoulder for one second, okay? And then in here we have the females from the litter. That's Mama right there. And then some of her babies. Uh, this baby is the one of interest. All right. 
sorry, just getting them on the same hand so we can kind of compare. Maybe I'll go hold them under light so you can see them better. So here are these two. They're both from the same litter. And uh, as you can see, one looks a lot cooler than the other. The other one has like a warm, warm tone. This is what I normally see this girl. This slightly warmer tone, but still quite diluted, fading into white. And then this boy just looks grayscale. Like he, he's very gray, very neutral, very soft in color. So my best guess is that he is a blue dilution uh, of what she is. And she is just a normal standard black color. So that's my best guess as to what the blue dilution versus just normal standard black does. And I'm going to go ahead and separate these two because I don't want them breeding. <laughs> but I thought I'd just show you real quick what they look like. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry, but your sister's not open for grabs yet. She's too young. Yeah, she's too young still. There we go. Yeah, I just separated them out like a little over a week ago, so. They're still a bit too young. Just about five, six weeks. But yeah, uh, hopefully that was a good example of what uh, was going on with them. So I at least now know uh, potentially what blue dilution does to these guys and that it's involved. Uh, and I know potentially, I, I mean, I'm not positive this guy carries it because this isn't the same mama of the same litter. This right here is mama of the litter that's out there with the blue tans and stuff. But she looks about the same, as you can see. Uh, city top, fading into white, creamish colors. Um, yeah. Pretty diluted. Yeah, you're pretty diluted, but still warm. So she herself is definitely not a blue dilution. So blue diluted of whatever she is. Not blue diluted of whatever she is. Yeah, that's how it goes. And if you're curious, the, the dad of this litter, uh, which produced this boy and then these little ladies, was a recessive yellow splash Siamese. Uh, but he was a diluted splash Siamese as well because his, his yellow wasn't fully coming through. So the mom looked like one of these sooty, the sooty ones. So she may or may not be a C dilute. I can't be sure. And these recessive yellows may or may not be a C dilute. I also can't be sure. Um, but as a previous pairing has shown, I'm pretty sure that the mice that look like this are not full C dilutes. I'm pretty sure that they are something else. Um, because I paired one of them to a Siamese splash. And I got blacks in the litter. So, you know. Yeah, Siamese plus... Even Siamese plus chinchilla wouldn't equal a black. So pretty sure that we do not have dilution genes causing her and her. But we have something causing it. Yeah, because that's not normal. Speaking of which, actually, I was going to show this separately, but I might as well show it now. Uh, I bred a, a roan yellow, and my cats might be out here. Yep. Hello. Hi, bud. Yeah, this is not the time. You, you're not allowed. I, I made a big mess, too. I fill up my cages out here so I don't get on my main carpet. So, a bit nasty. Hope you don't mind too much. I don't know if the ladies in here will appreciate me bothering them. Uh, this is my quarantine out in the hall rack, in case you're wondering why I've left the closet. Let's see if I can't... The moms are pretty polite, but I wanted to show... Hey, Mama, can I bother you? Oh, good. Mom's, mom's already off the nest. Cool. Alright. So I'll just take these guys out. Hello, Nanny. So here... <laughs> sorry, guys. This is a pairing between one of my Splash um, Siamese recessive yellows that's also a dilute and a normal Roan recessive yellow. And as you can see, these are my very first normal recessive yellows that I've gotten in a long time. <laughs> They, they actually are yellow. They actually have yellow. They're sooty top like all of my recessive yellows are, but they're, they're actually recessive yellow. They look yellow. All of my recessive yellows up to this point for like the last few generations have looked like my dilutes, you know, all grays and creams. And I was starting to go crazy. I was like, are these guys just poor recessive yellow? But nope, I paired them to a normal recessive yellow and I got these guys. So they're very sooty, very sooty recessive yellows. But now you can see that we get normals. Uh, but then I've got these guys. Um, this one, uh, do, these guys don't look quite like my, my recessive yellow dilute, dilutes that I normally get. They're a little bit warmer in color than the normal dilutes I get. And I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that one of them is splashed. The dad was splashed, so. But it's kind of hard to tell because it doesn't really look splashed. I just, I don't know. So those two, I'm still not positive exactly what's going on with them. 
Uh, could be a C-dilute combination of some sort that's going on. Or maybe the thing that's diluting my mice is at play. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. So, you know, if you have any guesses on what these two could be, uh, the two lighter ones, I, I wouldn't mind that because in spite of all the chaos I've dealt with, I'm still getting confused every day by these guys. But as you can see, they're, they're basically like a super pale version of the others. Um, creamy in tone. They've got black eyes, I'm pretty sure. Um, haven't shown a flashlight, but they look, they look black, so... You know, and we can do a comparison between these two. Normal recessive yellow, whatever that is. Both parents were recessive yellows, so they have to be recessive yellows of some sort. Recessive yellow dilution with C dilutes is certainly possible as the dad was a dilute. And I wouldn't be surprised if the mom carried a dilute as well. So, yeah, what do you think? So let me know what you think. And I'll go ahead and put these guys back. If I can, there we go. I'm sorry for destroying your nest, Nanny. I'm glad you're, well, you're a little distracted, but there we go. All right, so <laughs> let's get her back in there. Honey, excuse me. So, you know, if you have any interesting speculations. Hi, other cat. I've got so many cats. <laughs> um, but if you have any interesting speculations on anything that this might mean for our dear sweet uh, chaos line, I would appreciate any knowledge. We now know that it has blue, and we now know that when you mix one of my Chaos line with a normal recessive yellow, you get a lot of normal recessive yellows, plus a couple that I'm guessing are C dilutes. I'm guessing, because they don't look like the kind that I get when they are the dilutes that I normally get, like the mom of this litter. They don't look like her. They, they look lighter and creamier on top, a little bit warmer in tones and colors. So, yeah, that's all for now. I uh, hope that was interesting. Uh, hope y'all didn't mind the mess. Uh, cage cleaning can be a little bit crazy. Yeah. You guys, you guys take up a lot of my time. But that's fine, because you're so freaking cute. But I'm going to go ahead and put these guys back out, back now. Uh, finished cleaning up the cage, so it's time for them to go back home and get some milk for mama. <laughs>